So let's go back to our product image and I'd like to go over setting up multiple different views on a single product. So right now if I go back out to our product page and, and refresh you'll see we've got our stretched out elongated t-shirt picture and there's just one view of that picture so a lot of times people want to have a, a front view, a back view, a left view, a right view and all that good stuff so let me show you how to set that up. Um, so first thing we'll do is I'll re-upload my regular sized gray shirt the front view into the default position so when I say the default image that's what I mean I mean this image that shows up on the main images tab here and then in the large multi image manager you'll find your other views so so this image out here is the default image and you'll want to upload the same image into slot number one for your views. So I'll go ahead and do that and put that in there and then for slot number two you'll want to put your next view so let's go with the back view and in slot number three we'll, I've got this picture with the shirt on a model so we'll go ahead and upload that one and there we go, it uploads our large images. So front view, back view, and the model. So I can close this guy. And you'll notice if you go into the medium multi-image manager that it also created the front, back, and third view of that same shirt. And the same is true of the icon. So that's where large creates other is, is really powerful. Uh, it's quite nice, there's a lot less work involved. So I recommend keeping that on if that works for you. Okay, so let's go take a look at the front end and see what changes have happened here. So, good deal. I got my normal image back. And not only that, I've got uh, different views. I've got the front view, back view, and the model view of the same shirt. And you can click through, and if you click on an image and you enlarge it, it actually gives you the correct large image which is nice so that's pretty good um, and that that will meet most people's needs right there um, a lot of times when you turn this on uh, instead of seeing these little micro images down here you see a, a number one two and three so let me show you how to toggle that setting on and off that's another app config parameter so if you search in here, go to image resize, and it's called multi-image, let's go find it, can't remember exactly what it's called, yeah there we go, do, do, do. use product icon picks, um, that's, let me search for it here, There we go, use images for multi-nav. So if you set that to true, you'll get the micro images. If you set it to false, you'll get the one, two, three view images. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. So yeah, if you, if you upload your different views and this is what you see and you want to change it to the micro images, you can just toggle that app config parameter uh, called use images for multi-nav. There we go. I'll set that back on. I think most people like to see the images. And again, you may want to reset the cache for good luck. Okay, back to our t-shirt. So that kind of covers the multiple views. You get up to 10 different views of the same image. Now, if you want to upload different color images for your product, you'll have to set up different colors. So this product right now is just a simple, straightforward product. Um, but if you go down to the variant level, we can change that. 
So there's only, you can see one variant for this product and it's unnamed. And I'm going to cruise over to the attributes tab here and set up some colors. So here in colors, I need a gray, blue, and yellow. And then I'll go ahead and update that. And that'll set up some colors. And when I go back to my surf shirt, the multi-image manager will give you a few more options for your colors. So back to the large multi-image manager. And you can see you've still got those same views. But if you scroll down, you've got a slot for gray, blue, and yellow as well. So what you want to do, gray is just going to be a, a duplicate of the no color selected row. So I'm going to browse for my large gray image and my gray back view. And the model check. And you're just going to repeat these steps for the blue as well as yellow. Okay, and then you can hit update, and you'll see you get this nice grid of all your images. All right, so let's have a look at what that did to our product page. Okay, so kind of back to where we were, I've got the main product image and you can switch to different views of that product image and then you notice in the add to cart form you got your color options you can choose gray blue as well as yellow and those drop downs will change your product image associated with the color so that's pretty nice and that covers most of what you'll need to do with uh, setting up your images in ASP.NET storefront